This is Fujifilm Natura 1600. They don't produce it anymore and it will cost you around $100 per roll if you can even find one. This film is one of those rare 1600 ISO 35mm films and since it is made by Fuji, we kinda know it should be good. I hadn't shot this film before, but I did read that it is pretty grainy and since it is already expired and high ISO films tend to lose their edge faster than lower ISO films, I decided to compensate the graininess by shooting in daytime and during the golden hour. My first impressions? It is grainy for sure. These first shots are kinda all over the place, and I think I blame the expiration date, which on the box was labeled 2019. I did store these precious ones in the freezer, but I do think these first couple of photos were not the greatest. But luckily it was all uphill from here. What I do love is these pastel colors this film provides. That famous Fuji green is greener than ever, blues are nice and toned down, and even the oranges are nice and bright everything I'm looking for. I guess it's similar to Kodak Portra 800 if pushed a couple of stops, but I personally think these colors are actually nicer. Since this is ISO 1600 film, I like the confidence that I can shoot it even when it gets darker. The only thing is that those shadows don't really hold too much information, and it is a nice soft look if that's what you're after, but personally, I would have wanted some more data in the dark spots of the photo. But all these good things said, it is super expensive film, and I'm probably not gonna buy it unless I get a real good deal somewhere. I guess it goes hand in hand with my overpriced Convex T2, which I actually got with really decent price, since it was missing the whole viewfinder, which I first tried to fix with some help from a clocksmith, but honestly, it just made it worse. Luckily, I ended up finding a rare spare parts top plate for it, and by replacing that I got myself a pretty nice little point-and-shoot camera. I saw this nice old SUV that I wanted to isolate from these newer, more boring cars. The sun was also painting it nice and warm, and I think this photo is a bomb. I really like it. I spotted these two fallen trash cans on this overgrown yard, but there was a really harsh backlight behind them, so I decided to take my chances with some point and shoot flash action. And I actually think it turned out nice. Believe it or not, I wasn't visiting California for taking photos with discontinued old film stock. I was actually visiting the city of Anaheim for work. But that said, besides some hockey and Disneyland, there wasn't really anything to do. So the only photo I took was this nice warm sunlight painting the hotel carpet. I like this as well. Then it was time to come back to LA for a couple more days, and my plan was to shoot through the first roll and swap to another. We visited Pasadena and spent one afternoon walking through some local neighborhoods. Now you can go. This photo of these two ladies eating that I secretly took was the last photo of the first roll. With this second roll of Fuji Natura 1600, I think the green layer is even stronger, and these photos have more contrast in them in general, which I honestly like a lot.
As usual, it was raining in LA and the sky was nice and moody. It actually made shooting during the midday so much better. I wanted to make that dark sky at least a half a subject of these photos. Someone had left their shopping cart in front of the church and with that dark sky I surely wasn't gonna let that scene go without some photo snapping action. I wanted to incorporate consumerism and spiritualism with that cart and that window, but I will let you be the judge if I manage to do so. I feel like that scene might have been better with more capable digital camera but I had decided to only carry my film camera during that day. So I guess it is what it is. The sun was starting to settle and it was time for me to take my favorite shot from that journey. And I think this time it's all about color. I like how pastel but still saturated this photo is, and that combination of green and orange is just beautiful in my opinion. I only had a couple of frames left for my last roll and decided to use them as I imagined Fujifilm intended this film to be used, aka during the golden hour. So what can I say about the film? I do like it a lot and luckily I still have few rolls left in the freezer for something special. Maybe I'll try it during the blue hour next fall or something. Anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know what was your favorite photo from this trip. See you next time. Nice.